OKBears okay, is a certified Solana blue chip asset. Now in this video, I'm gonna break down why I believe it's a blue chip asset and it comes down to price and a few other key points. Now when we jump over and have a look at the price charts, we are using NFT Solist. You can see that on the first mint day, it had a run up, a little bit of a pullback, run back up, a little bit of a pullback, run back up. Overall, the trend has just been up for OK Bears. So having a look at this price chart, what you can see is you can see that we've got the kind of um, 90 sol, 100 sol sales. That's where it kind of, it ended up hitting a support back down to around that 50, then up to around that 160 back down to around that sort of 100 mark and then back up. Now, the reason that I believe this is blue chip status is because when you have a look at this chart, the fact is it's run up to such a height in the beginning with such strength from the get-go. And what this does is it kind of instills confidence in the project and a blue chip project will run up and hit some good heights. It doesn't need to hit crazy blow off top heights, but it hits sustainable long-term run heights when you come down to the project. Now you can also see that we had some crazy volume, we've had some crazy volume, had a little bit of volume here, and then we've had some volume here. Anytime volume comes into the market, we get some ups, up, and then we've got the up here. So the fact that the price is essentially stable and strong, and when some volume comes back in, it runs back up. Where this kind of puts it with OK Bears is the fact that this is a blue chip asset because it rides solid and strong, and when some volume comes in, the floor just gets eating up, showing that people are essentially listing high and it just keeps getting eating, eaten up. And if you're familiar, and I've actually done a kind of talk on this type of process with Board Ape Yacht Club, you can check out that video here, Complete Price Breakdown. You can see a similar trend, runs up, hold it tight, runs up, holds it tight. I'm not saying that this is going to be the next Board Ape Yacht Club of Solana, but looking at the price charts, it's very similar to the early stages of Board Ape Yacht Club. Now, next thing that I wanna to touch on when it comes down to a blue chip asset is what I believe to be the derivatives that come from the project. Now, the reason I wanna talk about a derivative and a derivative like not okay bears is the fact that when a derivative is used on a project, even if it is in a meme sense or trying to make fun of the project, the fact is, the project is making some money off the likelihood of a project. The fact is not okay bears has done some crazy volume and got delisted on OpenSea. That's why we are looking at it on Looks Rare right now. Now what we're gonna do is jump in and have a look at the ETH marketplace and show you why I believe okay bears is that blue chip when it comes down to these derivatives. When we have a look at the uh, sort of 24 hour market overview, you can see here, OK Bears is in the top 10. It actually took out the number one spot for a little while, which is crazy. The fact that a derivative of a Solana project was number one when it comes to what was happening on the Ethereum blockchain with NFTs shows you that OK Bears has jumped the chasm. It's not just a Solana project, it is an NFT project, which means that the ETH maxis were gonna kind of uh, just ripping on OK Bears, which meant that people kind of flooding in, even if it is a joke and even if it is a meme, it does kind of lend itself to actually having that status, the fact that it's there. Now, when we jump into OK Bears, what we can see here is that it was deployed 52 hours ago, um, so essentially just over two days. And you can see this insane amount of volume that kind of went up. And then even though it was up, we were still getting some crazy prices up here. So you can see up the top of the chart here, the fact that it was floating around that sort of 0.4 ETH mark um, for a while, which is absolutely crazy for a derivative. Now look, the other aspect I wanna to touch on to just show you how strong and how kind of chaotic this derivative is, is the fact that we had a whole bunch of volume. We had almost 500 ETH worth of volume, and we can see that two and a half thousand transactions. Now look, it's not just not okay bears. We've got baby okay bears, and that floor price is sort of 0.22, and they've done a huge amount of volume as well. Then we've got mutant okay bears as well, and they've done 45 ETH worth of volume and a floor price of sort of essentially nothing. It's essentially some dust. But the fact is, there are projects out here that are using the name, the image, and the likelihood of OK Bears to run up what can be said a meme project to still kind of line their bags. Now, if you can throw your mind back to the early January, it was Doodle Meta. Everything was Doodle. So 
Doodles was kind of what was happening. And at that point, Doodles became the blue chip in my mind because when someone uses a project as a derivative, it shows you that that project is put on a pillar and everything is trying to kind of reach up and, and attain it. So in my mind, the fact that there are all these ETH NFTs that are doing some crazy amounts of volume that are actually kind of uh, using the likelihood of a Solana project solidifies that as a key player when it comes down to a blue chip asset, not just in the Solana ecosystem, but the entire NFT ecosystem. And you can see here, OK Bears sitting at number three. So this is why I believe those derivatives come in and play. Now, the other aspects that come into play with the um, blue chip status, the fact is we've got a strong community around it, and this is based off the price. Everyone that is in OK Bears wants to hold it to the moon. They believe that it is going to um, kind of run up and flip apes. That's what they want it to do. That's what they want it to be. And the collective community in Solana are degening into this. This has made them a lot of wealth and a lot of gains. And sure, some will offload, but this is what they see is that kind of holy grail of a project that can kind of take over and be bigger than the ETH projects and bring it in. So you've got this hive mind, you've got this camaraderie, you've got this kind of um, group of um, sort of holders on Solana that want this project to be bigger than anything on ETH. And I think that is going to drive it. Now that doesn't isn't a very tangible thing that you can kind of show on a chart, but this is just something that you can see when you are on social media, when you look at some of the price points and the trajectory of OK Bears. Now it's all these little things and it's this little thing right here that I would, I would also like to point out, um, Wagbo, is the reason that this is a blue chip asset. The website's great. And it's not just the website, it's all these like little branding aspects and the fact that you've got Wagbo. Now Wagbo, just like we've got Wagme, just like we've got um, Do Your Own Research, just like we've got all these kind of meme things in the space, the fact that OKBears has launched in a part of the market when it is down and people are like, hey, are you okay, what's it like? The fact that you've got these bears in a bear market Wagbo, it's just a nice kind of catch line and catchphrase, and this will catch on, this will kind of become a thing, and that just adds to it because it circles back to what OK Bears is. Now, it's all of these little pieces that, yes, I could have cherry picked them, but they all add up to what points towards OK Bears being a blue chip asset when it comes down to not just the Solana ecosystem, but the NFT ecosystem as a whole. Now, you need to do your own research. You shouldn't just ape into things. But what I think you should do is you should have a look at previous blue chip assets on the Ethereum blockchain because they've been around for a lot longer and then have a look and see the similarities when it comes down to what is happening on the uh, Solana blockchain and in particular OK Bears. What I think you should do is have a look and see if these stack up. If they do stack up, then you can consider entry points and how it can go. Now, you will have noticed that on that price chart there were some pullbacks. Um, it wasn't just a linear um, sort of line up. And the fact is, there will be a point in time where people just kind of forget about OK Bears and it kind of just goes into hibernation. And from that point, you will be able to kind of pick some of these up. And then when you get into what would be Solana Summer V2, you will then see another pump and another ride up. Just like with Board Ape Yacht Club, there were these long periods of just kind of um, putting around at around the same price. So it, you don't need to kind of FOMO into anything in particular. Sit back, make really good considered decisions and ensure that they are the right um, kind of moves for you. So please don't watch this video and kind of go, hey, I want a blue chip and just ape into it or bear into it. It could, um, you do need to do your own research uh, when it comes down to this to ensure that it fits in with your risk tolerances. So hopefully you found value in this video. If you did, please consider hitting up that subscribe button while you're down there, hit up that like button. As always, it's been a pleasure having you with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.